Dear Fair Instructor, I came across a very interesting question the other day. Is a smell a thought or a feeling? This got me thinking into what it means to have a binary that is thinking and feeling in the first place and whether that binary is useful. And I don't think it is. There's a, an important distinction between what is conscious and what is unconscious, or rather what is abstracted and what is incarnate. There's an importance to being conscious of our body and what we consume with that body. Did you know that you consume more weight and volume in the air that you breathe than you do in food and water combined. That's amazing. And yet we take a lot more thought for food and water because they're solid and liquid, respectively. When did I start taking this seriously? This idea of engaging with a particular material, either in the air, in the food that I eat, in the water that I drink, and what are some of the lessons that I've learned? I know that chlorine water makes me feel foggy. I just feel like I'm being suppressed by the water that I'm drinking. And it could be the chlorine, could be what the chlorine is trying to cover up. And honestly, what's wrong with the subjectivity in that? So I'm going to keep naming some things and you see if they relate to you as well in what affects you and your body and whether you're conscious of those effects. Reverse osmosis water, or as close to H2O as you can get. I often get heartburn, and then if I don't have a particular nutrient in abundance in my body, it feels like I have none of it. It just gets stripped out of my body, and it feels like I can't retain nutrients very well. What about air? When it's a windy day, almost no matter where I am, I feel euphoric and I feel light. When you get closer to a metaphysical truth, the describing it becomes indistinguishable by what effect it has on your body, which is interesting. So the windier it is, the more air, the more you feel like air. Meanwhile, if I'm stuck in an office, on the one hand, I don't feel so heavy. I feel heavier than I do on a windy day outside, but I do feel muted and creaky, like I'm a statue that's slowly trying to move around, like I'm slowly solidifying in that space and the, the, the colors and the flavors and everything is, is slowly becoming gray before my eyes. And maybe this is, you know, psychological. Once again, embrace the subjectivity of this. When I ground on moss, I just, I feel this, this like energy and I just feel complete. I don't know. It's almost like, it's almost like when I'm touching moss with my bare body, that's when I feel the most aware of where my body begins and ends. And maybe it doesn't end and maybe it doesn't begin. Say you watch media for too long. How do you feel? I feel nervous, distracted, a little bit manic. Like I gotta get stuff done. When I eat ice cream, I feel sleepy. And I almost feel like I'm all oily, like, like I'm oily within, like in the veins. Salad, surprisingly, yes, I do feel fresh and crisp, but I also feel like I'm being diverted, like um, I'm having to place more energy into different processes that I'm used to that I, that I can do on a daily basis. These aren't feelings, and yet they're tied to feelings, and yet it, it, it's intuition, body consciousness, feelings, the unconscious, they all kind of form a framework on which, whether it's we access other dimensions or we're just finally seeing the river reality as it flows and seeing the flow of it precisely, whatever it might be, we're accessing more information and it's beautiful. Take a moment to sit and to consider how you feel and then build rituals, not just individual points, not just qualia, but rituals so that you know that the whole ritual 
is benefiting you, not just one individual point. That you are sitting in a particular position, eating a particular thing, drinking a particular type of water, breathing a particular type of air, and then you feel good at the end of many different experiences and consumables. And that way you know that at least the majority of them were good for you, because you feel good. I can't help but think about my role as a man and what that means, especially in a society that tries to make few, if any, distinctions between male and female. What's my role? And I've come to the conclusion that my role is what makes me feel like I'm helping other people, that I'm of service, and but it's also a pleasure to do that service. That's taking care of plants. That is growing. That is living and interacting with other living beings and very specifically growing. It's gardening. It's foraging. It's providing in a very real sense. This indirect providing has never felt good to me. It's always felt disconnected. I felt abstracted <laughs> from my reality, my biological reality, my psychological reality, and what I need to exist, and what I need to do well in this life. So we could consider all of this almost like a sixth sense, and I mean that literally. It's you being aware of your body, the inner processes of your body, not just hearing, smelling, tasting, touching, seeing. It's feeling within, it's an internal sensing. Visceral, being in your body. Visceral comes from the Latin, which means bowels. It means literally intestines. So if you're in your intestines and you're being visceral, that is the sixth sense. You are a deep fountain of unique identity, Vera Structor. Have a lovely week.